right, so um, that the expansion talk kind of dominated today's GM meetings with Bettman speaking to the media. There was also a piece of sound that we're going to give you from Commissioner Bettman regarding the NHL draft lottery. As you know, changes have been made to the draft lottery. Now, the odds of the worst place team getting it are, are different. It's now 20% if you finish last. The Leafs right now have a 20% chance of landing Austin Matthews, potentially. But there was talk going into these meetings of changing the rules so that the Oilers can't win it all the time. It's a simple discussion. I think there's meat on the bone. And I, I was very happy when I heard this was potentially being put on the table down in Boca Raton. Until I heard from Commissioner Bettman today. No, because this is the first year of the change. It was phased in. If you remember, we changed the draft lottery rules a couple of years ago. First it was everybody was eligible, and then it was now we're going to pick the top three picks. Uh, and, you know, while there's always discussion on everything, that's the purpose of these meetings, there was no sentiment to make a change right now. Yeah, it's... Uh, as a Maple Leaf fan, I am dreading the day of that draft, right? I'm the one guy that watches every single Leafs game right now. I'm dreading it. You're the guy, but, but showing, something, up the, you're the guy showing up in the rating? Because Edmonton's going to win it no matter what. They are going to win it. And to me, I mean, I've been in this country for 26 years now, 27 years. It's still so foreign to me to, to reward the last place teams. It's still a very foreign concept to me personally. But I understand why they do it in, in a franchise system. But, yeah, there's probably no perfect system. I think right now there's far less chances of, of you actually getting Austin Matthews by finishing dead last. 80% chances you don't get him. 20, you do get him, so it's improved, but let's just move on. It's getting kind of boring, let isn't me, it? Let me, let me tell you something. I'm, I'm going to make this one point. We're going to move on. The Edmonton Oilers have four first overalls in the last six years. Everyone's still kind of calm with it now. Next month, if they get a fifth first overall pick in seven years, watch everyone's tone then. Watch everyone be all loosey-goosey with it. There's going to be people, especially in Canada, because this is turning into the Canadian draft lottery draft. This is a joke if the Oilers pull this off again. I'm stunned everyone's so calm and collected about this. It's disturbing to me. It is disturbing to me how people don't think this is a problem. I don't mind the Oilers getting one, two, even three picks in a row. But you got to have three straight years where you don't. Or you got to have something in there that protects the rest of the league from this farce. I'm sorry. It's a complete farce. And they're going to just let it happen again, potentially? I, I think it's wrong. I think it's an easy fix, and I think it's wrong. Me personally. What's well, the easy fix, then? Just, just just ban him for like two years from getting the first overall pick. Yeah, yeah. It's two been discussed, right? It's That's been discussed it. the thing that has in, in the past, you know, as far as you can't have more than two or three top picks in five years or, yeah. or whatever it is. That that would make sense, absolutely. But uh, it just proves though with, with three and four, whatever it's been, it's not as easy as that as to build a, a contending team through the draft. Obviously no. it helps, but you need a bit of luck and good fortune as well. And yeah. so far the Oilers are, are the poster boys for how not to do it. Here's how here's how you don't do it. Draft forwards and have no goalies or defensemen. Right. Build for the future.